friends. Sorry about that. Phone overheated, which I kind of thought it would, but we're back. Welcome back. Turtles. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh man, good try. <laughs> we're back now, so hopefully we're live again. So if you refresh, hopefully you can see me. Jeez. Um, alright, chicken's ready, the broccoli. Sorry, I was putting butter on the broccoli. The broccoli's looking yummy. Doused in butter, just the way I like it. I do try a little harder with these ones. Yum. So good. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Are we getting follow botted right now? This is a follow bot. <laughs> good. Thanks. But uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome in. Chicken. We made chicken, mashed potatoes, roasted broccoli. Super excited. Somebody screenshot that. <laughs> I'll do it. No Uber Eats. Leave me alone. I don't want to. I don't want to risk um, losing my stream again. Alright, and the buffalo sauce, must get drizzled on top, yep, on top of the chicken. So here's the buffalo sauce, oh my god spirit, thank you. Drizzling is not my strong suit. I don't think you're supposed to drizzle with a spoon. Oh my god, this smells so good though, you guys. Yum. <clears throat> Butt's butt. Check the butt shot. <laughs> oh, so good. Thank you guys. Oh, you guys are the best. Okay, yes, I'm ready for this. Here it is with the, with the sauce on top. Ta -da. Yum. Jigs! Oh my god, welcome in, Jigs. Holy crap, we gotta get out of this kitchen because it's too hot in here. My phone doesn't like it. friends. Let's do it. Alright, we are gonna unplug the ring light. 
take any with me. Hopefully. strategically placed backgrounds all over my home. Oh my goodness. Welcome in everyone. Oh, the bell of clarity. Two days of the bell. <laughs> to get a silverware <laughs> for myself. for ring lights all right friends we made it we're back we're back stream elements just caught up with us <laughs> oh yeah long weekend <laughs> let's sleep. I do need to eat my dinner <clears throat> yes everyone loves the bell sorry that was really loud hi dad how is everyone, James? I'm so glad you're here. Walking the money, but you're not Right, let's eat. Let's show you. Oh, look at my messy table. Nobody else's kitchen table looks like this. First things first, did I cook this chicken all the way? What if I did it? Looks fine. delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's a probably a good guess. Probably half of the plate. 
Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that is spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, this is so yummy. Yummy? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wanna try a bite? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. I think the broccoli is the best part. I'm so confused. Oh, oops. Find it. Okay, fine, get out of here. What? It's mine too. I opened the door because it was so hot in here. There's a lot of flying. It's all the butter, I know. Broccoli uh, with butter, so good. Mm. The mashed potatoes, oh my god. <gasps> mashed potatoes are always good, of course, but. But the scallions, like that oniony base, oh my god, so I'm so glad I did that. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> That's hilarious. Great, great, no, great eye, Basmo. You guys can take a nice view of Lake Michigan while we eat, while we enjoy our meal. Pretend we're listening to the beach waves. There's a fly somewhere buzzing around, and if I can get it close to my door, then I will let it outside. The Blue's Clues version of Lake Michigan. Yeah, exactly. So, um, my mom's uh, friend that she works with, she actually did this in Art Prize. She does giant tapestries of these, um, but she has all these different colors, pieces of fabric, and then we layered them over each other, kind of cut them out in different ways. And like I did the shimmering on top of the water, um, the clouds, all the different beach grasses down here. So we got to make these. So I made this. It's all fabric, all little bits and pieces of fabric, all um, like ironed together. So super simple craft, but really fun to do. You need a lot of fabric. Yum, this is so good though.
I don't hear it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's actually pieces of fabric all layered together. So it's a bunch of little tiny pieces of fabric. Cool way to do a craft. It was really fun to make. <laughs> there you are, fly. Hello, welcome in, Alter Embodied Reiki. Thanks for being here. We are numb in some food right now. <laughs> Just eating and zoning out. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. Roasted broccoli, mashed potatoes, and um, cayenne chicken. Very hot, very good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would share this with everyone. <gasps> no way! Oh my goodness, Raiders, welcome in. Wow, I'm so sorry, I have a mouth of mashed potatoes. Wow, Granny! Oh my god, yeah, please shout out Granny Savage. Um, wow, I'm so grateful that you just raided me. Welcome in, Raiders. How was your stream? I know Granny's streams are always a great time. Mm. And I am so sorry that I just took a bite of food, but it's so good. <laughs> we were cooking tonight, my stream overheated, so I popped back on. Oh my goodness, I almost didn't. I was almost just like, ah, the universe is telling me to go to bed. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. If you guys are not following Granny Savage, please do. Phenomenal streamer. Absolutely amazing being. Love her so much. <laughs> feel like I know you just like from, from all the time I spent with you. So, so grateful for you. Mm, I'm so glad. Get yourself some dinner. I know it's, well, maybe you actually already had dinner. It's, it's late. You're in my time zone. So I'm eating kind of late tonight. <laughs> Um, but get some rest, get some water, do whatever you need to do to relax. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you to new followers, lots of my friends who are there who have seen me <laughs> enjoying, enjoying myself and chatting away in Granny's streams. Um, wow. I was totally not expecting that at all. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys are not following Granny's Patreon, though, highly recommend you to get over there, sign up, sign up for a tier level, get yourself some amazing inner child healing, some shadow work, some just some great resources over there. So could not recommend that enough. <laughs> I know I almost said coffee, but it's late, so I'm about to have a cup of tea, though, so... Who's speaking? Oh, and by the way, look at another wonderful streamer, Violet Hummingbird, actually painted this in watercolors um, and is selling them on her stream elements. So these are an awesome, I absolutely adore this painting with the lioness and the luna moth, like very spiritual, very gorgeous. Her artwork is just stunning. I'm glad that the camera's picking it up. Um, but yeah, Violet Hummingbird painted this really wonderful mom and streamer. Um, I, isn't that great? I knew you would love it. I was like, I feel like Granny needs this mug. <laughs> like, somebody buy this for Granny, please. <laughs> the lioness, like the eyes through the wings, like just a super powerful painting. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, Violet, she's so sweet. Such a great person to support too. Brie, oh my god, thank you for following. I'm so glad you're all here. Thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe it somehow made it to a thousand followers beyond grateful for everyone who's followed for everyone who's been here who encourages me to stream even though I feel like I'm a big dork and I shouldn't be on camera <laughs> half the time I shouldn't even be typing on a keyboard I'm like who let me make that joke that was not okay Carly <laughs> what are you doing um I am not Brazilian I'm actually from Michigan um 
but I do want to. Yeah, thank you so much. I was like, is this real life? <laughs> this is crazy. Um, so I'm from Michigan. I'm from the United States. Um, I just, I've heard that I have a really weird accent. So I guess I do. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Neo. Gosh, you guys are so nice. Um, I love you guys. Yeah, I I'm just like, I love streaming. I love being on here, making new friends, connecting with you guys. I want to come on here more and do more inner child healing streams. Um, oh, a Brazilian accent. I love that. Mitten gang. Yeah, the Misha gang. Um, yeah, I actually, my Spanish is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I'm Portuguese. I'm not. I don't know much Portuguese. <laughs> um, something in my table is written in Portuguese. Really? Oh yes. Oh, you're right. Um, I do have. <laughs> I love that. That's great. i We have the um a map here that I got on a um like a place mat. Um, with the world, and so it's half in English and half in Spanish. Or Portuguese, maybe. <laughs> That's so funny, I didn't notice you noticed that. Mm. I love this too. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, yes, welcome in, Melinda. Oh, It's Spanish, yeah. And but similar oh my gosh i'm so glad you're here made my meal on the east coast now i'm having dinner at the pacific ocean and the west coast yes yeah, so we just just a quick trip that'd be lovely thank you yeah i did notice yeah <laughs> did notice that i was like oh did i say something <laughs> see something say something <laughs> oh my goodness this tea Tea calms me down so much. I was like, whew, typo brain buffering. <laughs> so good. So it's, it got, it, it was noticed. It went noticed. Um, I'm going to keep eating. You guys, did we, I wish we had taken a poll on how much I was going to eat. That would be a fun poll. Because I think I'm going to finish this. I changed my mind. I thought I was only going to eat half, but it's so good, I don't think I'm going to stop eating it. They were pretty hot when they came out, to be fair. Yeah, and they were, um, they also have scallions in them, so they're kind of like, I kind of reheated them too, <laughs> at the end. Mmm. Darn. I love mashed potatoes. Because you can make them any texture, so some days I'll do, um, like when I make my mashed potatoes in an instant pot, I'll add, um, or I'll leave the water in and just use my immersion blender. And then it's like super pureed and creamy. Um, or you could like leave it kind of chunky if you want more like bites of potatoes. Sleepy Duck is in the house. Welcome in. Hmm. Yeah, the other meal I, I picked this week was um, one, oh my God, it's so good. It was one pan um, pork fajitas. So it was lettuce wraps filled with um, ground pork and um, a whole green pepper and uh, onion sauteed together. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And then they were in these lettuce wraps, which I never eat. And they were like the little mini lettuce wraps. So then you just fill it with your pork onion pepper mixture and a little bit of cheese on top and some sour crema, which is really sour cream with lime. And it was so yummy. 
See, and I can't, sweet potatoes are like too sweet for me. They're like, I don't know. So, to each their own. Yeah, you could easily do this with sweet potatoes if sweet potatoes are your thing. And that's a very, like, smooth texture. So yummy. Sorry if this is triggering them. <laughs> and nobody likes mashed potatoes. Everyone watching me eat mashed potatoes on stream. Terrible. female bodybuilder thing that is so cool I just got back into working out I missed it so much I used to um, work out with the wrestling team in high school and then in um, in college I actually one of my um, phys ed credits I chose um, beginning weightlifting which I I love weightlifting dinner ASMR. I just read this whole article today about how um, millennials take food to a whole nother level and like half of us consider ourselves, maybe more, consider ourselves foodies. I was like, this is true. We, we really enjoy our food. This is real. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dude, ultra embodied Reiki. I love your story. That is so badass. Bikini division bodybuilding. Oh. More natural, had a whole successful training business, which attracted mad negativity. I could totally see that because people are just like love to scrutinize other people's bodies we we really do human beings just absolutely love it it's so sad to me because everybody is so beautiful like everybody is so beautiful and there's no reason why anyone should tell anyone else what to do with their own mm. Whether you're working out, whether you're body positivity, like, whatever. It's just about expression. Of course I want people to be healthy, but um, body type doesn't always exactly equate to health. Mm. Thank you so much. I did want to. Mm. What? Oh my god. That is wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were like, I gotta get out of here. Everybody's body is just right. Yep, Mr. Rogers taught me that. Look at y'all. This is how you know it's a good meal. Mm. That's why we wear flowy clothes. <laughs> to make room for the belly, the food belly. Mm. For me, I am like way more picky about the temperature of my tea. Like I don't love drinking cold tea. I know, can you believe it? You owe me five bucks. <laughs> you don't remember saying that, but it's back in chat. <laughs> um, I love you guys. 
this. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> no, just come hang out with me. I would so much rather have friends. Oh my god, I was just talking to my mom. Oh shoot. My friend. Hey, do you want to bring me to the airport on Sunday morning? <laughs> Can you ask somebody that on stream? <laughs> hey, what are you doing Sunday morning? <laughs> oh my goodness. So silly. What time? Um, my flight leaves at 10.30 in the morning. So maybe 8.30 in the morning? I don't know how to travel. Hopefully I don't have to be there crazy early. <laughs> oh my god, this is how my life works. I'm such a weirdo. I'm like, oh, let me not do this in a regular way. <laughs> Yes, do you do Reiki and do you stream? Um, tell us about yourself. Um, GRR on Sunday, meh, nine, 1.5 hours early. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds awesome. So if you're not busy, I'd be, uh, I'll pay you. Mm. Wow, this meal was phenomenal though. Yes, tell us a, tell us about it. Antero, nice. I love that. Text me, I totally will. I meant to anyway. I meant to earlier and then I totally forgot. Wow. I've done a few fitness streams. Heck yes. Oh my god, that's perfect. Good. We're right. We're all in the same We're in the same categories for sure. ASMR, Reiki, and Tarot. Oh, that's what I really want to get into. Um I, uh, I'm an EFT practitioner, and I've done a little bit of Reiki. I started my Reiki course, um, and I do other energy healing work. I do Saima Diksha, um, but I want to get into ASMR. I just feel like it's such a leap from just me streaming regularly like, like a dork, um, and then actually... Switching to ASMR would be lifelong dream, but also I don't even know where to start. Get a good mic and then <laughs> go from there. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Who just followed what happened? No proof exists. I love it. Welcome in. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you for and thank you for doing the shoutouts. Yes, I did make it so that anybody could do shoutouts as well. Um because I thought that's such a good idea. <laughs> I think we should all be able to shout out people that we love. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always since I was a kid, like so my grandma raised me with like Native American folklore and mythology, reading books and um, being out in the woods all the time and learning different native plants and everything. And um, and I told her when I was like three or four years old, like I was so young, I told her I wanted to be a shaman. And she was like, what does that even mean? And I was like, it's someone who heals people with natural plants and herbs. Like what? Like that was like my interpretation of it. And, um, but I knew this from such a young age and since then have pushed that side of myself away a lot and was like, I need to know, I need to do things that are going to make me money and I want to be very financially successful. And I had all these huge dreams. Um, pre-med psychiatry was what I was going into when I got really sick at school. Um, and I was just pushing myself so hard and ended up, um, just pushing my body past its limits. And so started diving into traditional Chinese medicine and how to heal myself from endometriosis and um, came to this whole realization like how amazing Ayurveda is and how we can implement these little tricks and tools from different medicine systems and how it can help heal our bodies. So when, how, we, how we can heal ourselves, how we're such powerful self healers as well. I'm so glad. Yeah, I love the ASMR community. They are all phenomenal. Like, I follow so many ASMR artists, and um, it's so weird because when I was a little kid, I used to just sit in my closet and make 
sounds like see different sounds I could make and like um, find different like random things around that would make beautiful music um, and beautiful sounds like that and like calm myself down um, with ASMR as a child and never realized that that's what I was doing was self-soothing with ASMR um, you were pre-med when you were 18 to 20 I quit yeah it was so it's so intense like they you push your body through the absolute extreme as you're learning about how bodies work you're like in intentionally ignoring your own human physical needs um, and that's such a you know a big reason why so many doctors have that mindset as well of um, well just push yourself through it what do you mean like you know like we don't we don't have this mentality to rest and recover and allow our body to heal the way it naturally should um, and by disconnecting from that side of, I mean, that's a huge part of healing, allowing your body to rest, allowing your body to recover, um, switching from, you know, big heavy meals to liquid meals and uh, smoothies and soups and stuff when we're sick, you know, drinking more fluids and um, all these things that we're taught and told, uh, but aren't implemented by our own doctors and medical prov providers. Yes, a heavy science load. And, and like now you know too much about science and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> what am I doing with this knowledge? I was in an ayahuasca spiritual retreat and shamans did a, a steamy sauna ritual with music in a hut. Oh my god, I love saunas more than life itself. We slept outside under the stars and you're just gonna be like this crazy discovering our shadow self. Gold there is, dude, that's like a lifelong dream for me. Oh my god. Holy cow, that is like, I feel like I just went through that. I was like, just in that, in that sauna with you all. Oh my God, were you in the desert? <laughs> Where was this? Holy cow, that's amazing. Pointless courses to heavy science load, which I never liked. I loved art and I'm in architecture school now. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yes, I want to get into art more too. That's another current dream. Trying to possibly even get into the floral side of things. Um... I was in Arizona. I almost said that. I was like, you were in Arizona. <laughs> I was like, you were in the desert in Arizona. I was like, I feel this. So my hands are sweating right now. I feel like I was there. I am like very, can put myself into places with stories of people. Um, Sedona, Arizona. Yeah, the portal. Exactly. The portal. I love that. Yeah, so I can drop into stories and people describe stories to me. Sometimes I can like actually feel myself there and like, if people tell me they like one of my friends was like yeah my um my partner's really sick and all of a sudden i had this like intense intense pain in my left side of my chest and i was like this is a really weird question but i was like is it breast cancer on the left side and he was like yeah stage four and i was like oh my god like i was like i physically felt the pain like just mind-blowing things to me yeah, this amazing florist, which I actually, I ordered myself flowers last summer from them um, because I was like, let me find a local fl florist. I'm going to order myself a bouquet. Like, I've never ordered myself flowers. Um, and it was gorgeous. It was stunning. And then I ended up applying there over Mother's Day and just left booking.com finally last month. And I was like, you know, I should reach out to that florist again. Like, that lady was so nice. Um, ended up going in there and just chatting with her for like three hours. <laughs> and this was like the, my day off without Elon. Like, um, I had my appointment in the morning and drove over there afterwards. And I hugged this lady for like way long, like a like a family hug, like a family member you haven't seen in twenty years. Hug and like I just stood there and hugged her and held her in the store. This woman. <laughs> And I was just like, oh my god, I love you. Like, I feel like, a, you know, when you meet a second mother or, like, somebody who you feel like is, like, it's just that soul family connection. Holy cow. So powerful. I had that same connection with my most recent therapist as well. As a Reiki master, I sense lots of things about my clients based on their energetic field. Also, sometimes I have similar visions as them. Yeah, we'll both think of a caterpillar or something random at the same time. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, there's just so many amazing things in this world. So much magic in the world um, that, that we can either tune out or tap into, right? We can either enjoy it and embrace it and be excited about it or pretend like it never happened.
Um, can someone do exclamation point uptime in the chat? Because my previous stream ended, I don't know if this one, we'll have to see. I'll, if I can stream for two hours, then it'll count. Um, so, and exactly. And I find that I don't, one healing modality is not enough. Like I need, thank you so much spirit. Like I need, like I use, I use a copper tongue scraper. Um, I use, these are like my regular healing things. I don't drink alcohol. Um, it's really hard on endometriosis and bodies in general. Um, I usually eat organic. Like if I'm buying my own groceries, I'm gonna spend a little bit extra. Go to Aldi, go to Aldi's. Don't shop anywhere else. Um, Aldi's organic food is cheaper than the cheapest version of any other local, any other grocery store you can find. Cheaper than Walmart, cheaper than anywhere. So, um, really have been trying to stick to organic food, more juices, more liquids, teas, um, and then just, um, not putting so much pressure on myself is a big thing too. Like not living under so much stress. Right, Granny? I won't shop anywhere else. First of all, I don't want to spend 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot and then like walking just from the parking lot to try to get to the store, <laughs> like the big grocery stores. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I've been sober six years, but I was an addict. Have a Buddhist meditation practice, yoga, fitness, Reiki, recovery work. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, and I went through, um, through, um, both NA and AA and, um, drinking wasn't really my vice. Usually it was weed. Um, but just found so much healing through those programs. Hi, Dr. Dredd. Welcome in. Um, so much healing though through those programs through finding friends that are sober through finding friends that are on a spiritual you know the 12-step journey is absolutely amazing i said it every day i was in the meeting i don't care if you consider yourself an addict or not like get your butts in aa we all need it we all have some form of addiction whether it's a food addiction work addiction like we are so constantly distracting ourselves from pain that we felt as children and trauma that we've been through like there's I want to say when I started studying psychology you find out like 80 to 90 percent of households are dysfunctional in some form there's some form of um, traumas going on or pain or abuse or something that leads us to struggle as adults and um, you know the sooner that we come to terms with that and just say hey I did not live in a perfect household things were a struggle we we argued I found out about money stuff when I was way too young and still stress out about money um, and yes and exactly the daily meditation the inventory connecting to some form of a higher power and thanking every morning for giving us another day of life and, and just the shift in mindset, right? We go from this thinking about how, or, or maybe, you know, trying to suppress how our traumas hurt us and then turning it into, wow, yeah, I went through a lot and I, I hurt people and people hurt me, but, you know, look at how grateful I am for my life today. You know, it's a, that perspective shift of, um, man, look at all the wrong that people did to me and starting to be appreciative of how far you've come and everything that we went through, you know, led us to who we are today. Um, and just like how much, how much more we can step into our power, right? When we're not hiding behind substances, um, you know, wondering like, oh man, how am I going to get through the day if I can't smoke? Or like, oh, I gotta, you gotta like pack up all your stuff to bring it with you wherever you go. And you know, there's all these, it occupies so much of your brain. And I think when you start looking at it like that is, we all do have those addictions, that thing we can't leave, live without or leave without, or you know, our security blanket. Um, everything we think heals us is probably placebo. Kind strangers with godlike equipment or our own body does the healing. Our own body, yeah. There is a stream of well-being. We can either pinch ourselves off from the well-being that is ours, or we can allow it and, and welcome it in and be grateful for our healing. And, you know, a lot of um, 
there's a lot of good scientific evidence that shows that, you know, we're not, we don't get cancer from sitting there worrying about cancer, but we can give ourselves cancer from sitting there and worrying about this and that and the next thing and this person and our neighbors and, you know, and then just building up that snowball effect of, you know, are we, are we sitting there frustrated, feeling that anxiety, feeling that, um, you know, victim mentality, or are we stepping into our power and, you know, letting go of some of those resentments and some things that we're holding on to. And, you know, hopefully people are forgiving us for their resentments. You know, we want, we want that same exchange, right? We want that same release of, um, the judgment and the blame and the game, you know, shame and the guilt and the, um, you know, we can just sit our sit and spin our wheels in that, or we can kind of step out of that and say like, <laughs> like I forgive you, I forgive myself. I think that's the biggest one and the hardest one. I hate my mind as it's stuck this last week on subconscious multiverse travel, <laughs> which is where my head's at at the moment. When I was a teenager, smoking two packs of marbles a day, as it was, oh, it was so bad. I would drink myself. In, oh. Glad I got away from that lifestyle today. Oh, yeah. Right. I know. And we, it, we do. And from such a young age, right? We turn to it for a coping mechanism. <gasps> no. Oh, gold hairs. That hurts my heart. On the side of the road, took a picture of it. You walked to the location and finally took off of it. Oh my god, humans, man. Oh, it's rough out there. Yeah, and that's understandable. And I don't. DoorDash and I don't have a good. Can, we don't have. We don't have a great track record with DoorDash. We'll we'll say that much. Um, I've had a lot. I've had people. And it was like an accident where he dropped off my order at the previous person's house and then tried to give me the next person's food. And I was like, this isn't what I ordered. And he was like, well, I can't go back and get yours. Yours is with the last people. And I was like, that family of six is going to try to eat two bowls of soup and they're going to be hungry. Can you bring their food back to them and get my soup? <laughs> He's like, no. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not eating this. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just some people, man. Dude, that company, though. Yeah. Oh, quitting smoking right now. Oh my gosh, yes. Hey, that's a big one, too. When you go through AA, you do kind of start smoking cigarettes. Because that's where everyone's chilling. Then you want to sit and chill. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I can't smoke. I've tried to smoke cigarettes and I could not do it my body always rejected I just got so sick to my stomach and dizzy and I was like a little kid every time I tried to smoke a cigarette oh yeah here's your soup that you didn't order <laughs> yeah, exactly I was like didn't the last people say like this tiny bag is not for me <laughs> like, I did not get enough food because the guy came I was like two giant bags of like Chipotle or Qdoba or something and I had been sick for a week, so I was like, there's literally no way I could eat this. Like, my body will be so mad at me. No way. Um, day two. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, EFT is really great for quitting smoking. Um, this is a great one. This is called the, um, the reset, the master reset or something like that. So the side of our hand, you can always tap on it. And then it's actually going to rewire your brain, so calming ourselves down, tapping on the, you know, front top crown area of our head, in between our eyebrows, sides of our eyes, underneath our eyes, underneath our nose, underneath our lip, bottom lip, here on our collarbone. You can kind of tap all over your collarbone, really. There's like a lot of good pressure points in here for immune system, lung three, I think is here. Um, but this is a great one to boost your immune system, um, just to help your breathing get better too, because you're kind of, you know, your body is um, 
regenerating all of your cells in your lungs at the moment. So the more that you can kind of tap that out, help that process, the more clear you'll feel. Maybe do some breath work even, which start slow, of course, um, but kind of like as you can feel, um, as you can kind of feel that like release. What, ser serious surgery to stop smoking? Wait, what did I say? <laughs> Um, no, EFT is the emotional freedom technique. So it's just tapping on different parts of our body. Um, the last tap points, this one underneath our armpit. The bear hug is what I like to call it. Um, but that is great. You can do that literally anywhere, anytime you need to calm down. Um, yeah. Good job, gold hairs. They had to mess with my navel cavity this time. Oh my god, whoa, I missed that. Holy cow, hold on. This um, second dental implant yesterday. Other one failed was botched. I don't think I could do a third one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, oh my gosh. Well, here, we'll send you some healing. Can you get some healing back? GG's. Dang, that is so intense. We'll send you lots of good healing. is not fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's fair. I haven't had a bear hug for ages, I know, right? Yeah, that's fair. And then, and you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you gotta get, um, my friend got her wisdom teeth pulled and wouldn't quit smoking cigarettes and ended up giving herself a dry socket. And I was like, girl, you only had to stop for like 24 hours. <laughs> um, so rough, but you can do it. You have got this, um, especially if you get over this hump of the first couple days where you're like really thinking about it. Then as you start to kind of shake that out, oh, do some good, um, like good somatic healing. So kind of um, bouncing into your heels, like you can bounce in your heels, shake your arms out, kind of spin your body back and forth. Um, it's all Qigong moves that are gonna help, like kind of when you get anxious or when you're starting thinking about it, like just a good way to kind of shake that, shake that energy out, any kind of stuck energy that might be hanging around in your body. Um, yeah, <laughs> anesthesia, that'll do it, man. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, oh, please do ASMR. Oh my god, I would love that. That's literally like my dream, but I was like, oh, I don't have a nice voice. Nobody wants to hear me. <laughs> the things, the lies we tell ourselves. Um, being someone who smoked weed, yeah, it's been an obstacle. It's supposedly it's not addictive, but man, even us just talking about smoking right now makes me want to go smoke. I'm like, y'all, dang. It is. It just gets into your head. It just becomes a habit. It becomes that, um, you know, that go-to thing that, that relaxes us. Um, yeah, and there you literally said it. It isn't, supposedly isn't addictive, but it becomes a habit and a source to use to numb the pain with escaping from things. It's been four months. It's just beginning to get easier. Oh, dang, I'm so proud of you, Spirit. Good job. Um, here, have some super cosmic happy love. Aww, XOXO, XO, that's so cute, Dr. Dredd, thank you. Oh my gosh, I was actually eating many years of smoking cigarettes. Yeah, dang, and honestly, I could see that because it just, you know, just that go-to, oh my gosh. A lot of chemicals that make it so addictive. Listen here, you, you have a great voice, listen here, you. <laughs> my favorite thing ever. I love it when you say that. I love it so much, Granny. Listen here, you. I hear you in my voice saying it. I'm like, yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I have a super deep voice and I can still pull it off. Ooh, work with what you have and you'll learn. All you need is blue yeti. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm in. <laughs> Um, that's what I, that's all I want, that's all I really want to do, just chill, do it, ASMR. Let me see if Elon, I think he's sleeping. Mm -hmm. 
Elon fell asleep listening to my voice, so that's a really good sign. He just, I was like, man, he has just been laying there on his side, just relaxed. And then I was like, oh yeah, he's out. <laughs> Love your face. Love your face. There is an anti-vape ad going around on Twitch. It's the, does vaping make you feel stressed, anxious one. Oh my god. What? It does though. I kind of I kind of miss ads. Is that weird? I have, I have Twitch Turbo, so I don't watch ads anymore. Um, and I went into someone's stream. Um, my it had expired, and I didn't realize it. And I went into someone's stream, and it was like a Beavis and Butthead ad. And I was like, Is this a Beavis and Butthead game I've never heard of? <laughs> I thought someone was streaming this Beavis and Butthead game. Um, and it was just an ad, and I was like, dang, I'm missing some good ads. This is why I don't know about anything going on. <laughs> I don't watch advertisements anymore. <gasps> yes, thank you for sh thank you so much for the shout out. Oh my gosh, we do we love Granny. <laughs> we love Granny so much. Oh, such an inspiration. So nice to see you consistently streaming and also taking care of yourself and doing all this amazing things. Like sometimes ads are annoying or useful. Yeah. Just depends. I usually just get annoyed with them, but I am curious about them too. <laughs> they do suck me in. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Well, we streamed. I'm so glad. We ate our food. We ate a whole plate of food. Amazing. Um, I made a dessert earlier today. My mom and I made um, this delicious cherry swirl cheesecake bars. Oh my god, they were so good. And we have a whole bunch left, but I totally left them there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, spirit. My brain was just wondering that. Oh, wow. This is lovely. <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? What else? What else is everyone up to? I might make another cup of tea, actually. Jigs, I always have so much left over too. Cherry anything, yeah. Oh my god, it was, mm hmm And we added like lemon juice and lemon zest and it's just, oh. I love the like little, little tricks and extra things that they have you do. Very, very good. Oh, I think I have cheesecake actually in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. What would you say if I said that I believe in multiple realities and through chilling out and meditation we're able to switch between them? Absolutely. Um, I'm also convinced that through meditation we can actually access different parts of our brain um, to like recreate um, tripping, you know, whether it be acid or mushrooms. Like there are actually different parts of our brain where we can actually through deep, controlled, concentrated, you know, repetitive meditation um, can train our brain to access these parts of it. So, um, and mm, I also have kind of come to the conclusion that like, definitely there are other timelines, there are other multiverses where like in one, I'm a famous musician, right? And that's like my lifelong dream. And I'm friends with all these crazy musicians and my life is completely busy <laughs> um but also amazing you know and how many um connections i made and just all of, you know and absolutely think that there are just different sections different parts of our brain different lives where we live i think as we come to like our full realization of ourself um connecting more to the source energy you know the stream of well-being um our higher selves as a lot of people think of it and so for me that's just like what brings you the most joy and like what do you light up when you're doing it and like going towards that you know being happy having fun being joyful I knew this guy in college who was the most joyful being I've ever met he was always playing everything was a game 
he was so intelligent. He had like created a hot tub, the self-heating or a fire wood burning hot tub that heated up in the winter in the UP. Like he did all sorts of amazing things. He had created a device that could shut down cars from another vehicle by like turning off their engine, like crazy stuff that he could do. He was so intelligent. Um, but everything was just a game for him. It was just like, hey, I'm just doing this for fun. Like, I don't think, you know, like, he was just, like, so tapped in. He had all these incredible ideas coming to him. He um, was just always happy and smiling and joyful. And not, not to say that he didn't go through things and have rough moments. Um, but he was so good at dwelling in the positive and, like, being grateful and just living from that state of joy and gratitude and, like, open-heartedness and just connection like it was so beautiful and it was like really made me mad <laughs> honestly in college I hated him because I here I am struggling as a pre-med student like beating myself up all the time like living this state of constant stress and struggle and I ended up getting myself really sick because of it because I, my body was I was fighting against myself all the time without recognizing it you know pushing away my intuition and ignoring what my body wanted me to do and not resting and not loving myself, not having fun. I didn't even know, I still don't know how to have fun <laughs> as often as I should. Like, I'm still learning that. So, um, I think that, like, as we get better at that, better at allowing fun in and life and joy and this sense of freedom, as we feel that sense of freedom, we step more into, like, that true self or the, the joy, that dream life that we all have. Um, that's, that's how I see it anyway. Along with the breaking the habit of being yourself. Yes, that's right. Love the intertwining of science and spirituality along with psychology. It's all connected. Exactly. Oh, this is so beautiful. Y'all are amazing. Yes, the rewiring of our brain help us recover and learn new abilities. Yep. This is what makes manifestation so potent, although it's illogical. Yeah, it's like we have to find that feeling place of like, gratitude and what we have already is enough and um that's feeling of connection um to our god to our higher power you know and that feeling of alignment like hey i'm just doing things that feel good and that work for me and i saw with my brother too he was always just kind of having fun and playing and doing what made him feel good and he ended up getting this amazing job and learning how to become a jeweler and a metalsmith and now he like makes these amazing jewelry pieces and has this incredible girlfriend who's also an artist and she's following her dreams and it's like all these things that are just so it's not difficult but it's it's hard to break the habit of how we've been raised you know how we've been curated right into into who we are today and trying to release a lot of that programming that we've uh, you know attached ourselves to and kind of define ourselves by and the mystery of life is to be happy in yourself yeah finding that joy i've eaten noodles for days dinner but to be honest i was always always happy as i was doing what my soul wanted to do i love that yes yeah and so you know it's like it could have just been a perspective shift. Like, I had a beautiful life up in the UP. And I, I just was always so focused on the negative um, that I constantly drew negative things into my life. Um, and, and made myself miserable, unfortunately. I wish there was an easier way of saying that or, like, a gentler way, but... It's the truth. I was I was living in this state of misery, just thinking that I deserved it, and really had to shake, physically shake that off, and like let myself dance and let myself have fun and let myself, you know, um, become a mom, even though that was scary, and just recognize like, oh yeah, like we can just be playing all the time. Like he brings me back so often to like how easy life can be, and how much harder I was making it on myself. And it's just a perspective shift. I had a boyfriend. I had a beautiful life. Like, we could have gone anywhere in the world. His dad is an amazing surgeon and was paying for our rent once we moved down here. And, like, it was all of these great things that I was just, like, still not content with where I was. Which breaks my flippin' heart because I had such a beautiful life um, that I wasn't 
willing to admit belong to me. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I don't know. That's a cool, uh, a cool little emote there. Emote. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go turn my water on and make some more tea, and I'll be right back. so cute over there just sleeping on the couch <laughs> past six months I lost my mom my aunt and my uncle as well for those close to them all oh my heart I'm so sorry to hear that that is that's a lot it's weird to me because I was like okay it is what life is yeah um and um man but when we lose those people that are so close to us, it hurts. Because it's like, these are our people. Um, oftentimes, we lose people that are close to us so that they can move on to the spirit side of things and like really take care of us and protect us from even closer to us than they were before. So although they're not here with us, our physical senses don't always take them in. There are often so many signs, um, so many connections. Birds oftentimes will come to us. I sent messages from God earlier today, and a great blue heron flew out from one of my parents' trees and just like soared over our heads. And I was like, Mom! She's like, oh my God, Carly, you sent messages from God and that bird flies up? Like, where did you even come from? It's this huge bird. This is my parents' backyard. You're like, it just came out of that tree. I just was staring at that tree. It just flew out of there. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh, it so crazy. No tears, which, to be honest, I thought it would go all cray cray. But no. Dang. Sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes we just. It all. All in due time. No, don't rush your grieving process. Um, there's no right or wrong way to grieve. Sometimes we don't cry at first. Sometimes we don't cry for a while. Sometimes we don't cry until something weird reminds us of them and we smell something that smells like them or, you know, hear a song that they used to sing and drive us nuts and it just you burst into tears when you hear it on the radio at the grocery store. Like, there's so many, you know, there's no right or wrong way to gr grieve. Like, sometimes it just comes out of nowhere. And sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you're, you still feel that connection to them. And, and you do know that they're there. And the more that you can kind of stay in that positive place of, like, loving them and being open to that, like, the more they can connect and communicate with us still, so. And like, even like I have a very deep connection with my grandfather and he passed away right after I turned one. So like you would think, how could you have such a deep connection with somebody who was not around for your life? Um, but I do feel such a deep connection to my grandpa Dave. Um, and just, and he loved, he, my uncle's, my uncle passed away as well. Have been through similar things, unfortunately. Um, my uncle passed away suddenly, but before he did, he came to our house and hung out with us. And I have a good memory, and I loved chatting with him. I was very, very into our conversations. And he was talking to me about my grandpa Dave, and he was like, Carly, like, you changed his whole personality. Like, he was this bitter, grumpy Navy man, like, businessman, always, Carolyn McFox, welcome in. Um, this like really strict businessman and wanted to make all this money and salesman personality and I totally take after him and um, and he's like when you were born he just melted he just became this big softy who just wanted to hang out with this little baby all the time and he used to say I need to get my Carly fix and like go see me and I'm like <laughs> like spend all this time with me playing with me there's all these pictures of him like airplaning me around as a little baby and um you know just that 
there are just certain people that just connect with us so deeply and and it doesn't have you know and it can it can mean everything it doesn't have to make logical sense there's so much magic in this world that's like beyond our understanding that's what he said that's literally what my uncle said he was like he's like you brought out you made him a whole different person he's like and unfortunately he died right up you know only a year after I was born um, so they didn't get to know that side of him that well um, and that makes me really sad because I don't want to be that I don't want to be such a workaholic that I can't connect with the people that I love you know that I'm so stressed out about money you know that I that I don't really fully connect and be present with people oh Lise, that's so sweet oh my god Sacred tears. I'm all about the sacred tears. Crying is such a good release. Allowing us to love more deeply as we kind of let that sorrow out, we make more room for greater joy in our lives. This is like, oh, hug, Neil, thank you. Appreciate you. You know, that is such a, they're, you know, that give and take, they're, they're equal. As we let that sorrow out, so too we can let more joy in. Um, oh, I'm so glad you're all here. I had no, I have no plan ever for my streams. <laughs> like, I know you know this. Um, but, like, my only plan really was, you know, I wanted to cook and eat and hang out with you guys and Whatever needs to be said gets to be said. Sometimes spirit speaks through me and I I don't know what I'm going to say and I'm just talking and I'm like, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but the less I think that and question it and I ask myself why I'm doing these things, like the more I end up saying things that people need to hear, that I needed to hear, feel. Oh, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sending you so much love. Sending everyone so much love here. I know that life has been crazy things are coming up that are tumultuous and causing us great fear causing us great stress and anxiety and like to just take a deep breath and be here with the feelings be here with each other while we feel the feelings oh, i'm so glad carolyn you all remind me so much why i do this i'm like what am I doing here? And then I'm like, wow, okay, there is a reason I'm here. <laughs> so often I'm, I literally sit through my days, I'm like, I don't have any, like, you know, people have trades and talents and art that they create and connecting with people is an art form. <laughs> Conversing with people, giving people a safe space to be and to chat about these things and to be loved like I love you guys so much I cannot even express it like half the time I'm like showing my mom pictures of you guys like it's silly okay I love you guys y'all are my best friends um oh I love it too I'm like so glad we all connected. I was just reading the pattern today about like some of our friendship patterns will pop up now and I'm like, oh, it's not just in my head. Like these are my real friends. These are really like past life soul connections, like soul family, like, you know, there's a reason that we all say that and feel that and like came together for a reason. Like it is potent. <laughs> like if you're on the pattern, um, look me up, Cosmic Carly, like, let's be friends, because, like, it is just so crazy how, how deeply we all know each other. Dr. Dredd, you are fine. Never need to apologize. I'm kind of the person, I'll kind of do an Irish goodbye out of streams sometimes if I have to, like, disappear. I'll just, like, goodbye, peace out, leave up a tab. <laughs> Oh, sometimes we need to do that. Robbie, welcome in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just showed my mom a picture today of Dandy, and I was like, oh, my friends are so cute. I love them. Yeah, mine all say life-changing so far. Oh, I know. I can't wait to get to know you more, Carolyn. You're amazing. Nice job, Neo. You're catching all the Pokemon. I heated up the water, and then I didn't get the tea. So I think I'm going to go get some tea. 
real quick like. Yup, and if anybody wants to order foods, there's a link. Yeah. I might have to be split in a second as I'm looking after a few old people. <laughs> I used to volunteer at nursing homes twice a week, so yeah, I feel you. Catch yourself comparing how it's coming from a wounded place. Instead of focus more on collaborating, instead of being in competition, embrace our similarities and differences because there's enough abundance for everyone. Yes, oh, yes, and I don't need to. I don't need to be producing something to be like valid, a valid human being. Oh, I'm gonna read this. My grandmother says that my grandfather resonated best with a fox. Every now and then a fox will appear in her backyard. She brought a statue recently to give the fox a friend, and my heart is currently understanding how powerful that is. Oh my god, Lacey, that's gorgeous. So grateful for the inspiration and connection and healing I found on Twitch. Me too. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all are awesome. You are art and medicine for real. All oh, the feels. Oh. Dang, right in the feels. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Arnett, I love you guys. <sighs> I really want to start streaming on Insight Timer more as well. Uh, that's always an amazing place to be if you guys have not caught an Insight Timer stream. I can really get deep into channeling there. And that's crazy to me because there are like three, usually three to five hundred people in those streams. And people in there are amazing because it's like an all meditation community. So you just get like such good support and love. Oh, I connect with foxes too. I know. I thought it was Carolyn saying that. And then I was like, oh my God, wait, at least has little foxes. I had a red fox walk up to me when I was laying outside in Colorado just came right up to my chair and stood there and walked all around me and I was so worried that it was gonna hurt me. I was like, oh my god, but also excited, but also, you know, just kind of nervous, but um, yeah, it's just a beautiful moment. It's always moments when you don't have your phone. Yeah, I love Insight Timer. Oh my gosh, and I haven't been live there in a while, like a couple months. Um, so I do, I do want to start doing that regularly too. Yeah, same name on there, Cosmic Carly, it should be. Um, and it should be under my links if my, I think you can do exclamation point links. <laughs> yeah, you're all, um, you are all angels, earth angels. Old Cappy, what's good? Welcome in, Old Cappy, oh sheesh. <gasps> Shout out to Old Cappy, what an amazing streamer. Old Cappy, another one, put his socks in the microwave and said the government was eavesdropping on him through them. Dude. They might be. <laughs> Sorry, I love I love conspiracy theories. I love them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely wonderful streamer right there. Um, it's going good. It's going good. I ate my whole plate of food. I took my vitamins. I just made some tea that I keep forgetting about. <laughs> oh, I saw this meme today that was. Uh, hottest thing about the astrology signs and it like hottest thing about Pisces the chamomile tea they're gonna forget in an hour <laughs> it's like sheesh <laughs> heard called out the tea. Ayo, what was Taurus asking for a friend? Um, I'm gonna look it up because it was really funny. <laughs> Actually, it's it was on um, Instagram. I think it was CoStar Astrology does these joke ones. We'll turn my phone on and I'll look it up for you. Um, Yes, you're a Taurus too. So is Brooms. Brooms and I are good friends. <laughs> Asmo! Oh my gosh, welcome back. Yeah, there is um, this meme that I saw today that was like, hottest thing about the signs. 
and um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna read. I'll read them all to to you guys. Yes, I know my phone turned off due to heat. Your phone is now running normally, relatively speaking. Yeah, and so this is the CoStar app on, I think on um, Instagram. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Hottest thing about them, Aries. The hot Cheeto dust on their fingers. Taurus. Their down comforter and flannel pajama combination. <laughs> That's amazing. Gemini. Their laptop with too many tabs open. <laughs> Cancer. Their smothering embrace. <laughs> like specs, welcome in, like specs. Leo, the outfits they wear after getting dumped. <laughs> Can contest. <laughs> um, I'm a Leo rising. Virgo, their sixth black coffee for the day. Sounds about right. Libra, that one selfie they use for everything. <laughs> That's so my ex. <laughs> I took that picture of him. Smothering a brace so accurate, such a hugger. Um, Scorpio, their, sm their smoldering stare. Sag, the air in their head. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm, I don't know. I might say temper for Sag. <laughs> Cap, the grill they won't let anyone else touch at their barbecue. <laughs> Aquarius, their takes. What does that mean? Pisces, the fresh mug of chamomile tea they'll forget about in an hour. <laughs> Rude to Sag. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys want to hear favorite rule to break? I need to get dumped to find out what outfit I'm going to wear. <laughs> Double Sag, Fishy Moon Guy, I have been feeling it now. The shift is insane. He's insane. Favorite rule to break. Aries, knock before barging in. <laughs> Taurus, no repeating outfits. <laughs> Gemini, don't date your friend's ex. <laughs> Cancer, their own boundaries. <laughs> Sorry. Leo, no wearing white after Labor Day. Virgo, chaos theory. <laughs> Libra, NDAs. <laughs> Scorpio, don't mix work and pleasure. <laughs> Sag, no quadruple texting. <laughs> Cap, anything unspoken or unwritten. Aquarius, don't leave without saying goodbye. Pisces, gravity and all laws of physics. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you want to follow this, it's CoStar Astrology on Instagram. Just a bunch of funny things about the signs. Fourth night. What were these last ones about? The last ones were favorite rule to break. Hi, cutie pie. You come say hi. Oh, there's my boy. Um, this is Vista. I'm protected by. Tell me how you doing in our bed. Yeah. Mm. You say night night to everyone. Night night, friends. I farted so loud on my hand. Did you guys hear that? I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I love that. 
Yeah, another gold hairs. He's got very gold hairs as well. That was funny, guys. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, man. Oh, now I want to turn on my AC for you. <laughs> that sounds hot, Lex Mix. We don't even have ours plugged in right now, though. I'm going to go to bed before these cruise yells people wake up. Good night, Dr. Dread. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Oh, man. Wow. That's a lot. That's real good. I got a window AC unit from another person, so I feel that. Gonna try and head to sleep, but I'll be lurking and hosting. Oh, thank you for hosting and lurking. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much for being here, Laced. I appreciate it. I'm so glad. Y'all are amazing. Love you too. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Rest up. Have a great day. Hopefully everything goes well. Yeah, hugs to everyone. Big group hug. Elin went back to bed, so that's good. Maybe we'll read a book tonight or something. Should we read a story? Do you guys want to hear something? Astronomical amounts of love. <laughs> Echo. Stop the meditation, Roger. Card by chance. Can you get an RV and then drive it to TwitchCon in October and then we can hang? I literally was just thinking today about getting an RV. I'm like, I could probably put down a down payment on an RV way faster than I could put down a down payment on a house. Like, why am I going to invest in a $200,000 house before I invest into a $20,000 RV that I could drive around the country with Elon and I? We could stream from anywhere. We could do whatever we want. Um, this new job that I got with Transformation Talk Radio, I can do that from anywhere, just sending emails. And then I can make a few grand a month. I'm like, I'm in. That's literally been my lifelong dream forever. I've been looking up campers since I was 16. I wanted an old Volkswagen camper to fix up, turn it into a house, drive around the country. And now it's what everyone's doing. And I'm like, shoot, y'all are Instagram famous. I want to be. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited for it. It's the one I wanted. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seriously, yes. Collective reading. Oh, that's a great idea, Spirit. You genius. Um, yeah, absolutely feel that. Um, you know, just that feeling of like I'm ready to have some freedom and and just like do a job that really resonates with me and that I can put my whole self into. Yes, Lex Mix. <laughs> cool new radio job, cool new DJ and um DJ and um photo booth operator job for weddings and events. So I'm excited. I'm also nervous, but I'm excited. Um all right, yeah, let's do let's pull I really want to pull some Starseed Oracle cards. This is my favorite deck. Nice, Neo. Catching all the Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
I love it too. I'm super excited. I need to get out of my comfort zone. I've been working from home inside for the last two and a half years. Um, and I need it. Yes, I love the Starseed deck. Oh. All right, collective reading for the month of July, shall we say? What does the month have in store for us? What would you like us to know? All right, we'll see if that's the one. This one. Okay. I don't want three cards for us. I need spirits. Oh. Hmm. I love that this comes out as a sentence. Wait. Wait. Child of the cosmos. You're not alone. Wait, child of the cosmos. You are not alone. Echo, volume up. Let's read. Wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. I love that these all flow together too, the pictures themselves. So here's this one. She's like about to go into a star system. Some sort of galaxy, spiral galaxy. Here she is, bursting forth from the galaxy as a child of the cosmos. And then, here we are finding each other, recognizing the different multiverses, the different connections. Wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Oh, thank you, Lexpix, for the biddies. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. That's so sweet. Cheers. Wow, I love it. Shout out to Lexmix Games. Thank you so much for being so amazing. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. Thanks, Neil. You are amazing. In our loud, fast, reactive, comparative world, where an instant response is so often expected and at times even a currency, it can feel almost impossible to take a breath, let alone give ourselves the space to rest, wait, and reset. We are so often in overdrive, expecting instantaneous results over and over again. And when guidance doesn't come at these extreme speeds, it can feel as though something's gone wrong. Oh, so true. Breathing in sweat at the moment. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Bathing in sweat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. But often, not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. When you ask for guidance and don't receive it, it can often mean, wait, it's not time yet. And look how they wrote this next sentence. The details are being woven in their own time. Our challenge is to keep trusting when, on the surface, it appears that nothing is happening. 
to remember that no matter how long or bitter the winter, spring does always come. To remember that you don't need to solve all of the world's problems in a single day. Sorry. <laughs> and that perhaps they'll be better solved with some perspective and a good night's sleep. This card is your permission slip to slow down, switch off, and rest. You're being reminded to have patience and to trust the mystery of life, to trust that things are being woven on your behalf. It may not be happening to the timeline you'd like, but if you gather up the patience, it will be orchestrated even better than you could ever imagine. Oh my gosh. It has been extremely dry here as well. We are not getting any rain. Maybe we need to do a rain dance. We might have to do a rain dance, everyone. I think they're controlling the weather again. Because it has been dry. The crops are not doing so well. It's rough. Let's bring the rain. We're gonna bring some rain to the world. So, wait, child of the cosmos. Let's read our next card. Child of the Cosmos. Love this card. Just bursting forth into the star, star system. Yes, all manifesting the rain. Thank you for the biddies again. Appreciate you. There's a mysterious force that governs all of life. An intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom. And the tides and seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you as well. It was there before you drew your bre first breath, and it will be there well beyond your last. It's the part of you that informed every cell what to do when you were in your mother's womb. It's harder to resist this force than it is to surrender to it, because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will. It is so easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the pattern of believing that we're separate or feeling that we need to go it alone. We all can feel isolated and as if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. You're being called to remember that the intelligence that's within each and every one of yourselves to remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe. That you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength. Look at that. The flow and qualities that there ever was, were, are, or will be. And to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, then you do too. Starseed Soul Inquiry, how can you surrender more deeply to the intelligent flow of life? You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Spook! Shout out to Spook the Ghostling! Welcome in, Spook! It's so good to see you! Spook! is an amazing streamer. Please give them a follow. Absolutely phenomenal being. <laughs> Great to see you. Yes, surrender to the intelligent flow of life. Yes, Carolyn. Uh, last card. We are doing a collective reading right now. So we got our, ours came out in a sentence, which I love it. It's wait. So take, talking about taking time, being patient, allowing the universe to orchestrate it perfectly and not rushing our timeline. Wait, child of the cosmos. You're not alone. So you're not alone is our last card talking about community, connection, and isolation. The older the soul, the deeper the cave. I think a lot of us can relate to that. 
many star seeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for their vitality as it allows them to commune with their soul and to fill up their energetic resources. Especially if they have an underactive or an open root chakra, or if you find it difficult to be human. Many starseeds find it more nourishing to retreat than to spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we are not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals, and we need all the love, company, and we all need the love, company, and support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people than ever, and yet still feel more alone and isolated than ever before as well. There's still so much we don't know about the energetic side effects of things like social media with so many people knowing our news. What is that doing to our auric field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is simply to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life. To replenish when you need to, but not to isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regular catch-up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life, those you truly know? And the Starseed Soul inquiry is how can you reach out to the people in your life physically? Ah, wow, I love that message. I think there are more cards to be pulled in this deck as well. Oh. love these cards. Oh my gosh, I want to read them all to you guys. Ooh. Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. Mm. I love this one. It's so gorgeous. Spook, I'm so glad you came by. Thanks for stopping by. All right, Star Keeper, let's hear. Cosmic Ancestor, seed the light by staying grounded. You are an ancient keeper of the stars. <clears throat> Here to anchor and seed your light in a unique way. Oh, I love this. in your unique way. You've likely been incarnating on Earth for quite some time, dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in the planet's evolution. We're at a tipping point now. The survival of Earth and all its species is coming to a head. The more grounded you remain during this transitional period, the more helpful you'll be. The more you tend to the flames of your own heart, the more you'll love you'll anchor to this planet. The wisdom of the stars is imprinted in your soul. The more soul fragments you call home, the more wisdom is seated here. You may be called to be in different places in the world to anchor in this light, perhaps by taking a trip or living in a certain location. You may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become, and the less reactive all of humanity will be. So this is directly related to how grounded we can remain as individuals, and to how stable humanity is. One person connected to the source of well-being, the infinite source, is 
more powerful than millions who are not. We have a great power as long as we can stay connected and grounded. You are here for a double mission, to grow as an individual and as part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Trust that you can be in this world, but not of it, and lead a truly glorious life. Starseed activation, place this card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I acknowledge that I am a star keeper. I choose to anchor my light and stay as grounded as possible. I'm going to repeat that again. If you guys want to repeat after me, feel free. Earth is definitely going through a massive shift. I acknowledge that I am a star keeper. I choose to anchor my light and stay as grounded as possible. Health Angel Oracle, amazing. Absolutely happy to. Welcome in the Glorioso. That is beautiful. That was a beautiful collective reading. Thank you all so much. All right, so this is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. The Glorioso. Reading about health. <coughs> Let us see. Excuse me, by the way. A health reading for Gloria. So how can I stay connected to the stream of well-being? How can I allow more healing energy into their life? And if you did want to learn a free energy healing practice, um, you can look up Sai Ma Diksha. I'll type it in the chat here. So, um, I'll have to put in a, a link. And then you guys can actually go to that link um, and learn the healing practice for free. A really, really incredible healing practice. three messages that came out for you today. Glorioso. The first card that appeared today was Druid. Hold the space. I'm going to go ahead and read these because this is an oracle deck. It is actually, it looks like it's the first card in the deck. The very first card is this Druid card. I've never pulled it. Message. Hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong, knowing you are where you're supposed to be. The Druids were the ancient wise ones of the British Isles. They had a deep connection with the earth, the sun, and the moon. They were the scholars who created the Agam tree language, and they were known for their creative skills in storytelling, poetry, and craftsmanship. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots, yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. Which is crazy that it says reflection because your last card that came up was the mirror garden. Guardian, take time to reflect. Um, and the card that came in the middle of both of these was autumn. Release the old and rest. So I think this is your message here. Care for yourself, be kind to yourself. <clears throat> Take time to rest. Let's read Autumn for you. And then we'll go back to this mirror guardian. I 
think seasons are the last. Autumn, yes. Release all of the pressure and expectations weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. Autumn is when the trees are preparing for the long cold winter and must let go of all the weight they are carrying in order to continue to grow and prosper. Sometimes you too just have to surrender an aspect of yourself in order to continue to grow and prosper. The raven on the autumn card shows that there is an opportunity to heal at this time. Here's the raven, and here's your healing. In Celtic animal medicine, the raven is the bird of healing and initiation. The healing it brings is a shift that allows you to move into a more powerful psychic space where you can be more aware of your needs and desires and be better supported. And if you missed the rest of our stream, highly recommend going back because this is a lot of what we discussed earlier. Extended message. You know what is heavy. You know what is holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn, it's time to let it go. When you hold on, you try to control reality and that never works. When you let go, you make space for the new to enter your life. You make space for healing, for relaxation, for love, for a deeper sense of peace and joy and freedom. This is healing, this is healing. Letting go. You are being guided by your angels and nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward. And you can do this. We believe in you. When the autumn card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming autumn will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. So yours was right in the middle, so I think really this is the next step for you is that as you're not going to be able to come into healing thank you gold hairs until you really release and let go of what's holding you back from healing and the last card is this mirror guardian take time to reflect i love her she's stunning take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. Angels accept you just the way you are. Even when you are going through a challenging time, they still hold you in the highest esteem. The Mirror Guardian, a female angel looking into the mirror of life, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and beauty, to see yourself as the angels do. The mirror represents the fact that your core beliefs and ideas are in fact what is reflected back to you by your world. Your life is one big mirror of how you feel within, and the mirror guardian helps you recognize that. When this card appears, you are being invited to take some time to see where you are right now. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want to reflect to you on your strengths and in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer your self-approval where it's due, and know that when you give yourself credit, then others will be able to as well. Oh, star seed, yes, spook, I'd love to. Caroline, you're awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> love y'all. Spook, I'd be so happy to read for you, and thank you so much, Gold Hairs, for the hydrate. I appreciate that. Mm. Spook, I would be thrilled to do a reading for you. I am feeling the readings tonight. Elon is asleep, resting. He's been a great boy tonight. He's had a wonderful day. We went outside all day. I just have chat up on my phone, so I'm just reading it off the phone. 
Or are you asking how chat is? How's chat? How are you all, chat? Glorioso, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you for being here. Um, and how is everyone? And Starseed for Spook. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this stuff. Let me see it on this phone. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, all of them. Use any foxes ever. You read chat off your phone too? Nice. Yeah, I have. I'm streaming off a phone and then I've got a phone. But I, I have it. So I'm just looking at myself right now, which is fun. Um, it's just like a selfie video <laughs> for streaming off my phone, streaming IRL, Twitch. Um, and then, I, so I just read it off of there, because then I'm, like, looking at the camera anyway. And so then I can just read chat right off my phone. So I can't, I can only see this much of my face. And then this is all chat. <laughs> it's silly me for, like, the first, like, ten times I streamed, I didn't realize, like, how much of, how much of the stream I wasn't able to see. Alright, Spook, did you have a specific question? Are you just looking for something? January messages? Any messages that the cards want? Vixie literally has 63 of these adorable fox emotes. Yeah, I clicked on their emotes and I was looking through all of them and I was like, these are all cute. Ooh. Spook, why do I feel like I pulled this card for you last time? Inner Earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Oh gosh, that's a beautiful card. Working from a laptop. Oh, you totally get it. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. Ooh, I love it too. Yeah, I'm gonna pull another card for you, I believe. Ooh. Next card that came up was Loosen Your Grip. Which I love this girl falling through on the waterfall. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. I know God can be a triggering word, so we like to say source around here. We like to say source. Because we were just talking about that. So much of healing is just allowing that source, that stream of well-being, stream of joy and freedom into our lives. Connecting more with that, with things that light us up, that make us feel like life is easy and fun and everything. Ooh, the golden children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited for this reading. I have not pulled that card, I don't think. Inner earth though, I know this one. This one is, this one is beautiful because there's a lot of, oh, a lot of intuition with this one, I think. Inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions in beginning. So I'll hold it up so you can dive into that card. This is like where I want to live. This cave overlooking. Inner Earth, also known as Agartha, is believed to be a hidden subterranean world within the planet itself. Many ancient cultures mention it in their stories. It's said that some of the beings of ancient lost lands, such as the Nuria, Atlantis, and Ar Aryavarta, went there. Hindu and Celtic lore mention caves and entrances to underground worlds. Tibetan Buddhism refers to the secret mystical city Shambhala, which is thought to be located in the Himalayas. Many have searched for inner earth in the physical world, but without success. So, the mystery continues. Is it a place that exists in the physical world? Or on another level of our subconscious? Ooh, another level of consciousness. There are solutions beyond what you can perceive. Surprising outcomes to your problems and situations. Resolutions that are best that are in the best interests of all involved. If you find yourself facing an obstacle or feeling stuck and you have no idea what to do, you are being reassured that there is a way out. Oh, Dratini. Love you, Dratini. 
You'll survive this and things will work out. If you're stuck in a rut, do something to shake up the energy and shift your thinking. Try something you wouldn't normally do. Soon you'll see the whole you'll see that whole new worlds of solutions are available. Things that were previously beyond your focus will present themselves. Helpful people, signs from the universe, and support in both expected and unexpected ways are on their way to you. That's what I like to hear. But first, you need to do something different to shift your focus so you can receive them. Ah, so this is so much what we were talking about. Um, you know, gold hairs, sometimes that happens. It's just like, oh, I don't have that ball, I don't have that ball, I gotta buy a ball. Pokemon, man. Pokemon. Um, but this is kind of what we were talking about too. It's like we gotta we have to somehow find that shift into gratitude, um, that shifting into feeling that joy, that happiness. Even like um like I did swing dancing for a while. Like I've done all sorts of weird random hobbies and stuff. Like anything I can find for free that gets me out of my comfort zone, doing something different. Um I could see you being really great at like self-defense classes um, or like kickboxing even or um, really just visualized you when I was reading this um, at even like a break room, you know, where you just go to break things or, you know, something that just like it wouldn't be normally what you do. Even like going to a bounce house or a sauna or um, like I could totally see, you know, doing like dance classes or something fun like that where you're like out of your comfort zone, but also doing something that moves your body. Yeah, I wondered, I wondered if your partner did, um, but if you guys could even like do something fun together, like you could even do something at home though. Like I do um, free ecstatic dance classes with Sada Simone, who's like this amazing, um, amazing being and spiritual healer. And um, so I'll share I'll share his profile with you on it's maybe you're on, maybe you're on Instagram. Yeah, I could totally see you as a dancer. I was like, I could totally see you like just letting loose and having fun and uh, Oolong Crossings has some awesome tea ceremonies and hangs. Oh, does it stream swing dancing? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love that. You love Saw? I love Saw. Oh my god, amazing being, absolutely. And yeah, just have done some awesome ecstatic dance classes, some that you could just donate for, some that are free, like, um, but I have just, just some great release there where I didn't even know I needed to move, um, and like just shaking it out and like just being silly and like crying it out or whatever needs to happen, like it's just very, very powerful. Oh, oh good, okay, thank you. Yeah, I thought I did. I was like, I'm pretty sure I do. Um, Okay, inner earth. So that's what I see there. Shake, shake it up, do something different that you love that feels good to you. Even something from home. Like you can always do stuff from home. I work out from home. I pretty much do everything from home. You, I have a car, but I never use it. Gas is so expensive right now. Even if you don't have to go anywhere or you can walk to places you wanna go, even just a, a quick walk around. Like we just go for walks around our block sometimes. And it's like, we just need to get out. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> so. Some kind of movement is good. Um, next one is loosen your grip. I love that this is all in alphabetical order, so I know it's close. Coping me mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. We are cyclic beings and Mother Earth teaches us how to be human every day with the coming and going of the tides and the seasons. If you're clinging to anything, you are resisting the natural flow of who you are. The things we cling to are so often those we need to let go of. The food, the substances, the relationship, the job, the people pleasing. Been there. <laughs> totally relate. Yes, a bike. A bike is a form of transportation. Great point. Gotta run the car every now and then, but mostly say, yeah, we, we go maybe once a week. We, we leave and go do something. Um, it does make a whole difference in your mindset though, having a car versus before I had a car and, and just, you, you do tend to feel more like you don't want to, can't go anywhere or don't want to go anywhere. So it's also, a lot of that is perspective and, um, and knowing how, you know, how much we can do from our home is really freeing. 
The things we cling to often cover up our most vulnerable space, the part we're most afraid to leave empty, the part we guard and don't let grace into. That's me with my anger. But by keeping the space covered up with something that doesn't serve us or clinging to it for fear of it not staying on its own accord, we prevent ourselves from receiving the things that will. A Course in Miracles, which if you have not read A Course in Miracles, highly recommend it. Um, it's like shifting our perspective into a place of godliness, into a place of releasing fear and just being okay with what is around us and what is present. Really, really interesting. Um, a Course in Miracles tells us, whatever we leave empty, grace will fill. And the Buddha said, you can only lose what you cling to. Indeed, both are true. If this card appears, you're being called to find the courage to loosen your grip and give up control to release your coping mechanisms and leave space for grace and God to enter, to surrender all that feels dense to the divine. Yeah, it really messes with my head. I like, I've read a lot of like weird Zen Buddhist books that like literally take my brain out of this planet and put it in some other weird Zen place. Um, so like that one's kind of a mind, um, what mind f you you know what i'm just saying <laughs> messes with your mind um but um but what i did find i was doing it on my phone so there's like an app that i was using i think and it would be like read it basically was like one line every day um and you read it over and over and you do like different um applications basically for it um and so like one of them was like everything around me is god and so then you just kind of like you look at the couch and go the couch is god the couch is god the couch is god and you just think it enough times and you do that multiple times throughout your day so it's just kind of breaking this automatic mind that we go into and kind of shifting us into seeing objects around us in a different way, seeing life around us in a different way, and breaking us out of this mundane mentality that we get into of, of just ignoring things around us and like, have to vacuum God then. <laughs> yeah, mind bleep, thank you, mind bleep, yeah. Thanks, spook, sorry, I'm get, getting, I'm rambling about Course in Miracles. Very interesting read though, or app is what I used. Um, thank you. Um, Loosening your grip doesn't mean that your clinging will go away. That, oh, that what you're clinging to will go away. It may or it might stay. But you can be sure that what is for you will find you. And you'll breathe easier knowing that you've shifted from relying on your own strength to surrendering to the grace of life. And the starseed soul inquiry is what are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Ooh. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. That Shinto animism. That's amazing. Marie Kondo is very cool as well. The, um, the releasing of our items with love and, and the shifting in mentality is really a beautiful thing. Um, and the last card is, so this was Loosen Your Grip. This was our, our falling down the waterfall, releasing what's no longer serving us, stepping into ourselves. And the last card is called, is the Golden Children. This is the one I, I don't think I read. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful card. I'm going to hold that one up while I read it. Yes, 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 I agreed. Uh, sorry, Spook, I got, I get distracted here. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. I love this one for you. Golden children, also known as children of the sun, are highly advanced, extremely intelligent souls who are incarnating increasingly on planet Earth. They have little or no personal karma and possess incredible gifts and intuitive, <laughs> you're amazing, and intuitive abilities. Golden children are born with a very clear mission. 
Many remember it from a young age and begin answering and sharing it early in life. I felt this. I like felt that I was here to heal people and to connect people and oh my gosh, I love this. This is a cool card. I could totally see this with you too. Like you were like came here like knowing you had a mission on this planet. Um they begin answering and sharing it early in life. Due to their unique intelligence, they may find themselves easily bored at school. I could totally see this too with you. Most have never incarnated on Earth before, and so, if they're not supported in the right ways, they might struggle with physical life here. They're often referred to as the new humans. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You may be called to tend to your own inner child, a creative idea or project, or a new beginning. Sorry, I just heard something. It just sounded like somebody knocked on my door and walked in. I was like, what's happening? Early stream is like an energy spa. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. I got some meditation music going too. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, baby? One second. Baby? Feel good. Here's our friends. Sure, even a little bright, isn't it? So happy to be here. Wanna rest on the couch? Right here with, with me and our kitty. Butts are butts. <laughs> Good job, butts butt. Sorry about that little little break there, little moment. Alright, golden children. That's right. To treat yourself or the new beginning with sweet, tender love. He's good. He's sleeping on the couch here now. It's high it was hot in here, so I'm glad he came out so I turned the AC on. Hard to sleep when it's too hot. Oh, where was I? Oh, yes. If you pull this card, it may be a sign you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You may be even being called to tend to your own inner child, or a creative project or idea, or even a new beginning. To treat yourself or the new beginning with sweet, tender love. To nurture and nourish it. To give it every chance to grow and reach adulthood. To encourage it. To water it. To see the world through the innocence of a child. To see yourself and all others as innocent children. Aww. To remember that deep down everyone is trying their best. And if they're treated with a tender heart, they'll not harden as they journey through this great adventure called life. That makes me want to cry. <laughs> That's so beautiful. To remember that deep down everyone is trying their best, and if they're treated with a tender heart, they will not harden as they journey through this great adventure called life. Oh, 
gosh, I love that. How can you treat yourself or others, mostly yourself, more tenderly? Oh gosh, I love that so much. That is lovely. And so your reading was just all about connecting to yourself, giving yourself time to rest, taking off that inner pressure, shifting your perspective to one of gratitude and letting in those gifts that want to come to you, you know, letting in those, the resources, the abundance, the love, the support, everything that you need, uh, just through a simple shift of our perspective, which it's, it seems simple, but it's, it takes a lot of repeating and getting ourselves from that self-critical mindset into more of a nurturing, nourishing mindset, right? Treating ourselves with that tender care. Oh, I love you so much, Spook. You're such an amazing being, and I'm so grateful that you're a part of my life. Like, thank you so much. I'm so glad we met and connected. I always love when you read for me. Oh, if you guys are not following Spook the Ghostling, please, please do. Go over there and give Spook a follow. They are absolutely amazing, wonderful being. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me read for you. Release your energy back to you with love and light. May all of the best, may all the blessings and abundance just fill up your light with your life with light. We'll see all the best things for you. <laughs> Yours is as well. Yours is as well. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Does anybody else want a card? How is everyone else feeling? How are you all tonight? Um, let's see who's online right now. I love it. A lot of our friends are online right now. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, there's a lot of people to read. <laughs> oh, Spirit, you're still here. Thank you for being here. I'd love to. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for the hug. Yes! Oh my gosh. Carolyn and Spirit, I'd love to. Spirit, do you have a particular deck you'd like? Um, I have a couple tarot decks. I've got the Mystic Mondays Tarot and the White Sage Tarot. Um, the Oracle decks, the Angels and Ancestors, and then Starseed. Um, and then I've got a couple different random decks. Like One is um, Notes from the Universe on Abundance, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Notes from the Universe on Abundance. Um, and then one is all about self-love. So I think I'll pull you one of these Abundance cards. Because you said anything, whatever the universe does up, it's... Have you wondered if, when you just close your eyes, take a few minutes, and redirect your thinking, the monsters might shrink, the grins might grow, and the floodgates might begin trembling again? <laughs> I think this is about your meditation spirit that you've been doing. Um, I love that. Spook, that might even be one for you as well. Close your eyes, take a few minutes, and redirect your thinking. The monsters might shrink, the grins might grow, and the floodgates might begin trembling again. Try it, except while driving. The universe. I'm going to pull you. Angels and Ancestors for Spirit today. Thank you. Alright, Angels and Ancestors. Alright, what messages do we have for Spirit? Spirit's birthday month. Celebrate. Celebrate. This one? Oh! Great teacher. Great teacher. Who's that? We know him. such a dork. Great teacher. <laughs> Jesus jokes are my favorite jokes. <laughs> I don't know why I always think it's so funny. Jesus is just hilarious to me. Um, 
message, know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired. Learn from your current experiences, then share them with others. This card was inspired by Jesus. We know him, who is one of the most widely acknowledged and loved spiritual teachers of all time. But there is a great teacher in every tradition, and this card represents the one to whom you feel the closest, as well as the great teacher within. The teacher wears simple clothes here to demonstrate that even if you live a simple life, it can be an incredibly spiritual one. Yes, Christ in a human. <laughs> so perfect to me. <laughs> he is surrounded by a sense of serenity and harmony because he has absolute trust in the higher power that moves through him. And the dove on the card represents answer represents receiving answers to prayers through signs and experiencing peace through joy. This card can represent a teacher in your life or the great teacher within. Why not both? Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort, and energy into understanding yourself. Yes. Love this. Oh my gosh. And the world around you. You are having spiritual experiences at this time and gaining a greater awareness of what you need to do in order to grow. There is a great chance that if you've been having any challenges recently, you have now surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping your spiritual connection. If you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently, this card is confirmation that these have indeed been holy experiences. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, I feel like normally, normally I pull three cards. I just feel like 100% that's about like the teachers you've been connecting with and this teacher that you found within yourself and through meditation and through that connection. Like, oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Maybe there's another card. Is there another card for spirit today, spirit? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, here it is. Whoa, what the frick? Look at this card. So cool. Direction Guardian. Wow. Oh my goodness. I gotta read this one. Holy cow. Direction Guardian. Choose your path. This is so cool. So there's a whole guardian section. Wow. Connect with your deepest desires. Then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. <laughs> Radness, right? <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. This is so good. Look at the compass. Oh my goodness. The direction guardian card represents the angels of direction. These amazing angels are the ones who come to us when we are at a crossroads and don't know which way to go, when we are unsure of what is right for us or the bigger picture. They can help us know what is best for all involved. The Direction Guardian card refers to the vision of the Hebrew prophet Ezekiel, who was said to have seen an angel with four different faces. One was a child, cherub. One was a bull. One was a lion, and one was an eagle. These four faces show that angels can appear in many guises, and guide us in many different directions, but always for our highest good. Your path is not set in stone, and your angels and guides have no expectations for you. I love this. Nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities for growth and to learn, but life is to be enjoyed and savored. So, if you know that there's a decision to be made, and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, choose the path that you know is going to make you light up, and choose with all your heart. Oh, I love that so much. There's a lot going on in that card for sure. A lot going on in life too, and and directions and choosing. And you can do no wrong, exactly. And I think the universe has that message for all of us: is no matter which path we take, we can never get it wrong. 
we'll never get it done. We're going to constantly be living this life and finding new desires and finding new things that light us up and new ways to connect with people and grow spiritually and step into our truth and our power and oh, just beautiful. I love that. Gosh, that's good. The universe says, finish it with a starseed oracle. There's no right or wrong in life. And Carolyn, I think you asked for the next card as well. <laughs> Loosen your grip popped out again. The courageous peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, right? Carolyn, exactly. <laughs> the courageous peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the cherry blossom, and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. They own what they are and trust the timing of their true nature. You are being called to do the same. It's time to open yourself up to being seen. Time to share your incredible, multifaceted, true nature with the world around you. To uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering. To own your uniqueness without apology. There's a flower on this planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is readying itself to express. Let it inform you. You may have been taught that it's safer to keep your light hidden and keep your voice small. Right? Protecting ourselves. To hide behind the bushes instead of growing tall. The courageous peony is here to remind you that it's safe to embody all of who you truly are. It's safe to share your voice and let yourself be seen. At first it may feel uncomfortable, and you may be afraid of what others think. But with each passing day, it does become easier. Little by little you realize that it draws in those who are meant for you, and experiences you've been longing for arrive at your feet. How are you being called to allow yourself to be more visible and seen in the world? Oh, wow. Spirit, I release your energy back to you. Light and love, that is beautiful. This is really good massage music for real flowers. Don't Oh, they're just fabulous. I'm gonna be hanging out with this card as I get ready to stream. Yes, you're gonna stream. Oh my gosh, can I read? Um, yeah, Carolyn, do you want a card as well? Did you want a specific card? I felt like that one was for you too, actually. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, and oh, that was beautiful. I needed to hear it too. Here's Netflix. <laughs> he looks like we're watching TV, Mom. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. And Neo, if you're still here, can we give a shout out to Carolyn as well? Love one card, maybe Angels and Ancestors. I was feeling that deck for you. All right, Angels and Ancestors for Carolyn. What is the message that we have? <laughs> Carolyn McFox, what do we have for you today? Thanks to y'all, appreciate you. Claim it. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. I love this. Can't wait to read this one. She is beautiful. Earth Mother, she's the second card right after Druid. 
Earth Mother. Allow yourself. Echo. Echo. Volume 4. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. I just had to turn the volume down. Oh, one minute. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm sorry, babe. It was just a little loud, okay? I'm sorry. It's, it's over here now. So you can hear better. I know it's a little quiet with the AC going. Here we go. We'll put your head on the pillow. Sorry, thanks for your patience. Whoa, Earth Mother is unexpected for me for some reason. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I know, right? Allow yourself to be cherished. Earth Mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light. I love this. Earth Mother is the female counterpart to Sky Father. It's auspicious to receive this card because in the eyes and heart of Earth Mother, you are her child and she is highly protective of her baby and will give you everything you need to grow and expand. Earth Mother is only covered by leaves in this card, showing the vulnerability of the Earth. Every day she experiences challenges that she has to adapt to and overcome. Her energy, represented by the symbol of the pagan triple goddess, maiden, mother, and crone behind her, can help you adapt, you see it up there in the sky, can help you adapt as the changes of life come your way. You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Mother Earth is here to root you and to help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light, and it's important to know that you are loved. It is important to know that and feel loved. If you have had challenges with your mother, or with a, being a mother yourself, know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love. Wow. I need a drink of tea after that. <laughs> that was really powerful. <laughs> that was like also something I really needed to hear because that, holy cow, the, knowing that we are loved and cared for and supported and cherished just for being who we are you know that we're supported that we are healed loved look at how loving this embrace is of her holding us that like pure love joy on her face of just like nothing is more precious than this baby that resonated yeah for you too spirit i feel that yeah especially like you know, missing our moms or feeling disconnected from our mothers. Mothers are so burned out and, you know, they were only doing better than their parents were. We can only do a little bit better than the previous generation. And just knowing, yes, how cherished we are and how loved and human beings make mistakes, but the deep inner knowing, that love, that cherish, you know, that's all our mothers want to show us is that love and nourishment and care oftentimes they can't because they're not giving it to themselves and however would they be able to share it if they can't give it to themselves first and half the you know I mean I don't want to say half the time but there are times that I don't always say the right thing to Elon that I don't always give him the love that I feel in my heart despite loving him more than I could ever express unconditional love exactly and yet I still make mistakes. I still get frustrated and say the wrong things sometimes. And But it doesn't mean I love him any less. It doesn't mean that we're any less loved or worthy of love. It just means that we are... Oh my gosh, Bran! Welcome in! Bran Rich Kyle! Amazing streamer! Thanks for being here, friend! 
Aw, hi! Hi friends! Hi streamers! Welcome in, my friends! Hello, Raiders! We're just talking about motherly love and how we all need to give ourselves more motherly love. How our mamas did the best they could, but oftentimes they didn't do it perfectly. They weren't always the people we needed them to be. Yes, exclamation point Raiders! <laughs> I'm so glad you're in here, thanks for popping in. Exclamation point Raiders! Thank you guys for being here, I love y'all! I can do that, actually. Um, this is my message because I always forget what I want to say when you come in here. <laughs> I always get overwhelmed with I forgot to do this when Granny Savage came in too. Oh my goodness. OMG, you raided little old me? So grateful you trusted your community with me. I hope you all feel welcomed and loved. Sorry if I missed the raid. <laughs> Often I get distracted and lost in the practice. I stream from my phone. I appreciate your patience and support. You are so loved. I hope your stream went well. Take care of yourselves. Get some water. Grab a snack. Hope you come back to relax your body and heal yourself after all your hard work. <laughs> Remember, you are making a difference in this world. Love y'all. Thank you for being here, Raiders. Welcome in. You are appreciated. Oh my goodness. We're just doing some card reading, so if anybody needs a little guidance for July, wants a little bit of... Um, a loving message, please, please, I'd be happy to read for you, I'd be happy to pick you a, a card for your raid, Bran. Um, let me know, let me know if you have a specific, specific question in mind or want some guidance on anything. I am here, here to help. Absolutely. Carolyn, was there anybody else before I forgot? Thank you for following. Gun, there, no. Gun Gunther? Gunther, no flying. <laughs> it's like the Mad Gab game. I love figuring out people's names. Gunther. Thanks, Gunther. Um yes, yes, yes. Um mm. my my hand instantly went to the Star Seed Oracle, but did you want the Star Seed Oracle or I have Angels and Ancestors Oracle as well? Let me know. Star seed, yes, okay. Awesome. This is my favorite deck. Yes. It's very beautiful. Lots of ethereal pictures, lots of pictures in the cosmos. Whoa. This is weird. This is like all taken apart for some reason. Oh, here, you guys can see my Buddha, too. I'm gonna put Buddha over here. Get our little zen, zen area going. Alright, let's read. Powerful and empowering. Exactly. Thanks, Neil. Neil giving me hugs. I need all the hugs. <laughs> Hugging me right back. Oh my goodness. Love it. Alright. Brand. Hard to brand this July. What messages do we have? Ooh. Weight of the world. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Boundaries. Look at that, just relaxing in a pool of water. Pool of stars. I think this is one of the last cards as well. Alright, I'll hold up the card while I read it. Bye, Carolyn. Have a great stream. We love you. Okay, bye bye. Kisses. Bran. Okay, boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. You don't need to carry it all. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty and bogged down by the weight of the world. This card is a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's. To stop carrying those world's problems on your shoulder. To put on your own oxygen mask first. In these changing times, it's so hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take on its problems from a place of energetic depletion. 
This card is thanking you for caring so much. You want to build a better world and ease the road for others, and that is incredible. But, but the way you've been doing so is likely unsustainable. This isn't to say you should switch off the world's problems and become unconscious. Rather, it's a call to establish clear boundaries so you're not constantly taken out energetically. The planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. So instead of digesting the news or reaching for your phone as soon as you wake up, show up first to a nourishing practice such as meditation, soul inquiry, that's like journaling, deep breathing, or exercising in nature. Once you're in a state of grace and your inner well is full, you can face the day in the state of the world and care for others. And at the day's end, take an energetic shower by emptying out anything that's not yours to carry. You can pick it up the next morning, if you so choose. But give yourself time and space to really rejuvenate and rest. And the Starseed Soul Inquiry is, what are you carrying that's not even yours? I hope that resonated, Bran. I hope that... You can take some of that weight off of your shoulders, release, relax, breathe, show up to a nourishing practice, do something simple in the morning as even just setting a timer for five minutes and saying, I'm just going to breathe, I'm going to think about my dreams, I'm going to journal, I'm going to not grab my phone right away, which is so hard not to do, I know this, um, but just setting the, aside that time to say, hey, I'm just going to breathe, I'm just going to be with my thoughts this morning. I'm going to do some stretches or do a little bit of exercise, something that really nourishes your soul. Getting outside, even just a quick five minute walk in the morning, just around your block. Just get get out before it, when it's quiet and beautiful and still in the morning. I love that. So thank you so much. I'm so glad it resonated. Thank you for being here for your raid. It's so beautiful. We don't have a lot of plans tonight. Just kind of been reading and relaxing. We ate. We cooked <laughs> life advice, chatting about all sorts of things. So, um, and if anybody else from the raid wants a card, or anybody who's been hanging out here wants a little reading, let me know. Um, it's good practice for me. <laughs> you next, yes, Gunther. Would you like a Starseed Oracle, Angels and Ancestors Oracle? Um, did you have a specific question that you were thinking of? Um, Whatever you'd like, let me know. Um, I also have a book that I want to read, Happy for No Reason. It's one of my favorite books. It really helped shift my mindset. Um, so I do want to read that on stream as well. Starseed, perfect, I was thinking that as well. So I release your energy back to you with love and light. I hope that all of your dreams and wishes come true. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate you for, for being here. Thanks for letting me read for you. I really appreciate that. Ooh, thanks, Neo. Appreciate you. I will probably... I kind of want to read over to Hardy. Oh my gosh, every time I do this, we get the same card again. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle. Let's shuffle this baby. Come through, catch that Pokemon. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Portal, doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild card. Oh good, I'm glad this camera picks up this because it's like a bubble that she's walking through. This portal is like so shimmery and ethereal and very beautiful card. Very, very beautiful card. We'll see if I can maybe, it's just it's a bright. All right, portal. Here it is. Second page I flipped to. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. I'm glad you like it, Neil. Wild card. Doors are opening for you right now. Your thoughts are extra powerful for you. Planets are aligning. The timing is right. The universe is saying yes. You have the Midas touch. Your hard work is being rewarded. This is a time when you can reap the rewards for efforts made in the past. It's also a time when you can achieve a lot. 
great leaps could be made, extreme transformation can occur, great distances can be traveled in a short period of time. You're swimming with the cosmic current of life. What experience would you like to have? What do you want to create? What new adventure would you like to manifest? Don't lose focus. Use this moment in time wisely. Be conscious and clear with your emotions and thinking. Projects you've been working on are coming to fruition. Things are in full bloom. It's time to take your harvest and taste your well-earned fruits. When this card comes up in a spread, it's a sure sign that effortless change is possible. If you've been looking for a sign, this is your portal into that new reality. Now is the time to make big changes. If you've been guided to switch things up, you are extremely well supported right now. Use this energy and jump right on in. Ooh, I love that. Love that for you. That is like all sorts of good news right there. And the Starseed Soul Inquiry is what would you most like to experience? This card is 100% like you are man you've manifested your dream reality. Let it in. It's here for you. You're I'm going to Seattle. I'm leaving Sunday. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, and you're moving soon. Oh my gosh, that is super exciting. Wow, see you in Seattle. <laughs> That's wild. Um, oh my goodness. Wow, good job. Oh, Brynn, you caught the Pokemon. Nice job. Wow, Gunther. That's amazing. So many good things. There's a Pokemon Go Fest? Pokemon, a Pokemon Go Fest. Yeah, the Pokemon. That is so cool. We love Pokemon here, <laughs> obviously. I'm like, catch that Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awesome. Wow. Well, that's a good. I'm so excited for you. Lots of good things coming your way. Keep doing things that make you happy. Oh my god. <laughs> Cowboy Snorlax. Oh, you can call some yeehaw. Who are yeehaw? Oh, that's so amazing. I love it. Yay! I hope you have so much fun. That sounds perfect. Keep doing what lights you up. Keep doing what makes you happy. You know, the universe is gonna reward that. Wow. Love that. And anybody else? Oh, did I? I want to see if I got all my cards. Oracle card. The raid. Thank you for the raid again, Bran. I appreciate you. Um. Yes. Oh my gosh. Good. I think I got everybody's readings in that requested. If anybody else wants a reading, let me know. You can use channel points. Um. Or you can just let me know. I'm so glad you got in here. Thank you so much. You are so appreciated. Uh, well, this was lovely. I'm getting sleepy. This is late. Not late for me to be up, but late for streaming. I've been alright. I quit my job about a month ago, end of May, um, with a new job lined up and was supposed to start it on Memorial Day? and I got sick and couldn't go in and so that job I never heard back I like got hired and was supposed to go in for onboarding and then um just didn't go in I was sick so I didn't go in I called ahead of time but um yeah it was just kind of like yeah so anyway so it's been kind of stressful <laughs> just still looking and applying for jobs I got hired to be a wedding DJ, a, a wedding and event DJ and photo booth operator. Um, so that'll be exciting. That's going to put me out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, but um, then I also just got hired today to start as um, working in for Transformation Talk Radio, this amazing radio station. Um, and reaching out to different life coaches and people who might want to be on the air, who might want to have their own show, different spiritual leaders and healers and um, really cool, really cool, um, like, 
radio station really amazing i like i have absolutely loved all every um sec- segment i've heard every um woman who's been on there and that's mostly women who have been on the the shows that i've watched anyway um but i'd love to see more men in that community as well and in the spiritual community and um just sharing what they know sharing what they've learned so um really really cool so that one that one i'm excited for because that'll be working from home on my own time kind of like as i want to as i find people to reach out to and send emails to and connect with and uh, just a really really cool opportunity so i'm excited for that one. Ooh, let's take a deep belly breath roll our shoulders back deep belly breath sigh it out gentle stretch always good mm. Thank you. I'm anxious, but it's also, I have saved up enough money where I knew I'd be okay for a little while. Um, and then I just am like, it's nice to not have a job for a little bit too. It's nice to be able to relax and breathe and hang out with my son and um, not be working. I was working 10 and a half hour shifts stuck at a computer in my room. So it's been good for my mental health to get outside more and just feel free, feel more free with my life. So working on a couple part-time jobs or getting them started, I started training and then, um, yeah, kind of just having more freedom. Oh my gosh. That's amazing out there. Dude, see like all these cool opportunities. Like who would have even, you never know. You never know how money's going to come to you. Sometimes it's the most unexpected ways. So. That's beautiful. I love it. All right, let's see. I think we got all the cards read. Um, so we might raid out to somebody. One of my friends is doing... Um, oh, there he is. I was like, one of my friends is doing a, radio, uh, a wrestling show right now. I was like, oh, I hope he's still online. Um, he is. We've got people doing tarot readings. We've got people playing Sifu. We've got art going on. Um... Music, Peace with Maya music. <laughs> nice, my, my friend Phasmo's online right now, playing Apex. Uh, what are we feeling, y'all? What does everybody want to go listen to? Gold Ears! I know, we've almost been live for three hours now. Craziness. Well, there's... Did you get a reading? Did you want a card? Thank you for being here. For chilling the whole time. I appreciate it. Oh, or we could just go get, I know, mine too. Sure, I'll redeem one. Oh yeah, you don't even need to. Just, what deck would you like? Angels and Ancestors, Starseed Oracle, Tarot, what would you like? Whatever you want. <laughs> Card for the next week's nice. Um, so I have the Mystic Mondays Tarot, or I have um, the White Sage Tarot deck. Cool. Um, Mystic Mondays is like nice, bold, bright colors. Here's the lover's card for you. Um, or the white sage is like earthy, lots of branches. Yeah, I love it. I love, this was my, um, actually this might have been my first tarot, well maybe not my first tarot deck. Um, but one of my first tarot, my first tarot deck that I bought for myself and kept. Yeah, I love this deck. I love the animals in this deck. I love the, the feeling of this deck. Very all natural, short messages in the book. Um, kind of can leave it up to your interpretation, which is great. Ooh, all right, the white sage tarot. Sometimes I, when things fall out, I'm like, are these supposed to be reversed? So we'll see if they're supposed to be reversed. Um, 
the hermit card was sitting right on my lap after all these fell off, just up right on my lap. Um, the hermit. Um, spiritual loner with a smile on his face and a glimmer in his eyes. I love this. This sloth doesn't have a care in the world. He knows everything gets done in its own sweet time. Just because he is alone doesn't mean he is lonely. This sloth reminds you to stop pushing your way through life. Just stop and enjoy the view. Next card that came out was, um, well, that's what I don't know. They all came out at the same time. So we'll read, um, we've got the Seven of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So. Seven of Wands came out reversed. Exact exhaustion, lack of focus. When the reversed Seven of Wands shows up, you may feel confused as to the best direction to turn. Don't let your own insecurities prevent you from accessing your inner strength. And the Page of Wands came out upright. Adventure, youthful creativity. I love him. Such a cute little hawk. The Page of Wands represents a youthful feminine spirit. She is ready for an adventure with her walking stick and sun hat. Get out there and smell the fresh air. <laughs> so don't let don't let your insecurities hold you back. Go have an adventure. And the Queen of Pentacles reverse was our last card. Sacrificial lack of balance. Notice the amount of energy you are giving and receiving. Is it in balance? If not, step back and get a little perspective on the situation. The earth element can feel heavy without enough air. Bring your focus to your heart center. Mm. Going back to that heart, really getting in connection with what you want, how to find your own adventures, doing something little for yourself, but nurturing and loving and um, just getting back in touch with that balance. Making sure that you're not giving more than you're receiving in relationships, which um, happens so often really. It's so easy to do that. I'm trying to find boundaries and find, you know, give that nurturing first to yourself and then find your adventures, find your fun, and then you can give back to people, you know, as you, as you experience yourself, so too you can share that experience with others. I hope that resonated. Um, I hope that uh, if you have any other questions or you want an oracle card with it, let me know. Being a people pleaser is something I still struggle with to this day, so I can definitely relate to that. Um, can definitely relate. It's a constant battle of letting that go and shaking off that feeling of needing to make everyone happy and just saying, today I choose me. And it doesn't have to be any more than that. It doesn't have to be for the rest of my life I choose me and I'm never going to people please again. It could be, today I'm just going to put myself first. Today I'm giving myself that grace first. Today I'm going to love myself harder than I love all of you. I love you guys so much, though. Hey, Bogwater Ramen. That sounds terrible. <laughs> if you don't eat that. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Putt spot. Cut it up. <laughs> Neo, you're awesome. Oh, I'm so glad. I love you guys so much. Yeah, see you then. What's up, sweetie? Elin? He says mommy and then he doesn't answer. Pokey catch. Oh no, you might have to catch. You might have to do exclamation point pokey shop and then pokey ball and then the number. I wish I could buy you pokeballs. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> I'm gonna try and catch this Pokemon. Oh, here, I'll show you pokey shop, pokey ball.
Budsbot trying to buy Pokeballs, Pokebots. <laughs> oh, so silly. Well, we have officially streamed for three hours. Um, yeah, Artie's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. You bought 10 balls in the extension panel. Oh man, weird. That's cool though. You're on a you're on a computer. Well, no, they always escape. I know, so rigged, man. Rigged. Um. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I need to stop following so many people because this is getting out of hand. I shouldn't have to scroll up and down my follow list to try to find someone. Do we want a sound bath? Are we are we feeling relaxed? Do we want to do some ASMR chilling at the sound bath? Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling to go over to Pure, Pure Po Fi. She's got 222 people in there, which is awesome. You're close to the. Can you max out on people you follow? Is that a thing? I need to unfollow some people then, because I'm definitely maxed out. This is getting ridiculous. I don't even know. Um. I don't know, guys. 2K is the max? Oh, sheesh. Oh, no. Then they just, like, will start unfollowing people for you? Is that what happens? Because that kind of makes actually a lot of sense. I didn't know you could max out either. They should tell people this. And then Twitch probably just decides people to unfollow for you. Because that makes so much sense. Because I'm like, there are people that I'm like, I know I followed you. Why am I not following you anymore? And it's like, well, because you decided to follow 200 random people, Carly. We can't help you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's my fault. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> that was me. Oh my goodness. Is it July 1st? Oh my god. Has it been July 1st all day? <laughs> First of July? Oh my god. That's crazy. That is so good to know. 2000 is the max. Wild. Huh. Wow. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Alright friends, uh oh, yeah, today is Happy Canada Day, it is indeed the 1st of July, wow you guys, amazing, <laughs> when the streamer asks, has it been the 1st of July all day today, oh my god, Carly you're a genius, amazing, <laughs> amazing, what a question, alright, what are we gonna do? too many people. Alright. The Gloriosa loves Starseed Archer. Ooh, I love reading. Love reading. It's exciting. Love reading for the Gloriosa, please. Thank you for redeeming the, the points as well. Gold hairs, are you Canadian? Are you from Canada land? Ooh. Love 
pretty. <laughs> nice Californian. That's awesome. Totally different than can Canadian. <laughs> All right. Whale and Orca Elders. Share your song. Frequency of sound. Diving deep. The Whale and Orca Elders are benevolent cosmic beings here to anchor a frequency of love onto the planet, to harmonize it with their song. As they weave around the oceans, they do so much more than any of us know. Their physical presence affects Earth's magnetic field and their harmonics call us to wake up and remember our own soul's song. Looking into the eyes of a whale is something you'll never forget. Whales see into your very being and in an instant, you're changed forever. They see beyond the physical, the woundings, the identity, the personality, the story. They see right into your soul. If you pull this card, you're being called to surrender to your deepest truth and share it with potency. To bow to who you truly are. To stretch your heart wide. Wide enough to hold it all. Wow. To leave your fears, doubts, and baggage at the door. To question any part of you that doesn't feel good enough. The Whale and Orca Elders want you to give others the privilege of seeing who you truly are. And for you to see the same in other beings. To drop your hang-ups and personality flaws and get busy revealing the unique note your soul came here to sing. Allow the song that echoes in the four chambers of your heart to emanate in all four directions. Peel back the layers of suffering and pain and reveal to others your soul's true song. And endeavor to see the soul of all those you meet. How are you being called to share your soul's unique song? The next card that came out was Earthed. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize they are souls having a human experience and to be fully conscious of it, to have their soul fully embody their body. People's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence or imminence. Those who lean towards transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. I'm gonna make sure my phone's not, oh, my phone is dying, oh my. Hold on. Um.
Hi, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to charge my phone, get that plugged back in. Is that 5%? Yes, your love, your future. All right, regarding love. So Earth is the card that we are on now. The first one was the Whale and Orca's Elders. Connecting to your heart song, knowing, trusting your intuition. Um, this is all about learning to be of the world, in the world, but not of it. Um, where were we? Okay. People's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence or imminence. Those who lean towards transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They yearn for a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They're envious of the angels and are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. Those who tend towards imminence have attached themselves more to earth and their body. They spend more time thinking about things in this physical world rather than connecting with the heavens or their own mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul, having a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and imminence. Being in the world, but not of it. Most starseeds are drawn towards transcendence. They're more comfortable with the angels and the heavens. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded that you did choose to be a soul in a body on earth. And you are being called to focus Focus more of your energies in the physical world to learn how to be human, a soul in a human body, fully present to what life has to offer for you. Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? And the last card regarding love for you, Glorioso, is all paths lead home inner authority, intuition, trust, sorry, turn your gaze within. It's normal to look to the external world for answers and guidance. What's revolutionary is turning your gaze inward. You're being called to source your guidance from within, to study the terrain of your inner landscape, to develop a reliable relationship with your soul. The more time you spend connecting with your soul, the deeper the connection will become. The challenge for empaths is staying connected without cutting off from the world. The best way to do this is to develop a daily practice that helps you to keep checking in, to draw on the wisdom within and to let, the, let that be the authority of your life. If this card appears, you may be called to develop or switch up your spiritual practice. To get in the habit of turning your gaze within. Getting centered for the day before consuming anything from the outside world. To start from a feeling of at-homeness. Thanks, Uncle Jimmy's. Welcome back. And throughout each day to find simple ways to keep coming home. This doesn't mean switching off from the realities of today's world. We need as many conscious people as possible living with their eyes wide open. Rather, it's a call to start your day from a place of connectedness, grace, and devotion. So when you go out into the world and when you let the world in, you do it from an unshakable state of being. A state where you draw your strength, authority, and guidance from a place deep, deep within. So. How are you being called to turn your gaze within? And I know you asked for a love reading. This reading spoke to me more in the sense of as you go within, as you give yourself the love that you seek from another person, as you become the partner that you wish to have and the partner that you want to be for your perfect person, as you give yourself that love, as you find your own practice that works for you, a, a five, 10 minute meditation practice, um, you know, that's gonna just bring more peace and joy to your life and more love. Ultimately, you can only let love in once you've given it to yourself. Um, and once you find it in yourself, your person will, will appear. So, any messages spirit has for you? Yes, would you? 
we're going to go with the Angels and Ancestors deck for you, unless you'd like the Starseed Oracle card. Starseed Oracle card or Angels and Ancestors. Let me know if you have a preference. Yeah, the Angels and Ancestors one more. Or the other stars, the other, um, the other message, <laughs> your previous reading. <laughs> yeah, that reading was more so, you know, as you tune into yourself, find your own song, find what you love, you're going to find love. You're going to find love, but first you have to embody love. Alright, Uncle Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy got a card. Huh. Two cards, okay. Found love in all the wrong places. <sighs> yeah, I can relate. Alright, the card that you received, first one that came up is Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Next card that came up is Trader. Exchanging energy to create abundance. I can't wait to read this one. Yeah, when, I, when Peacekeeper came up, I laughed. <laughs> Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. The Peacekeeper is a wise Native American woman who has been influenced by white buffalo woman. She holds a peace pipe, which is emblematic of surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony. Instead, she is a soul who knows what it's like to feel under threat and to stand up for what she believes in and what is right. Her medicine helps you to take the higher road in every situation, even if you're under pressure to make a quick decision. It is a reminder that within your hands lies the power to make the right choice for all involved. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across. But you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted upon you. Choose peace. You know it's calling you. Anunnaki Starsy, thanks for being here. You're half native and a warrior. Oh my god, I love that. What? I didn't know that about you. That's awesome. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. My first boyfriend ever was a uh, quarter native, I think. Maybe an eighth. It's so cute. Trader, make connections and exchange information talents or support. The trader brings the lessons and energy of exchange. When he appears, he could represent an opportunity to exchange talents, whatever they may be, in order to expand or be about the exchange of energies that come from the universe, or both. For example, if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative, when you share your talents, you are giving them and, I'm so sorry, for example, if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative, when you share your talents, you are giving them, and when you do so, the universe will give you more in order for you to share more. It's all a beautiful cycle. The trader also reminds you to be open and honest and, an act, and act with integrity in your exchanges because... Doing something to get something will only lead to challenges. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking to return to a natural state of balance. 
So if you are lacking in feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. If you're frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can also be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open, honest, and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks, and months. No, I don't. What? Max in the house? <laughs> What's good, homie? <laughs> Y'all, give, give that Max guitar guy a follow. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, good to see you. Oh, this has been a long ass stream. I've just been chilling. Oh, sweet. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I left, I quit my job about a month ago. And I'm in between jobs right now, so I'm a little bit stressed, but having fun. <laughs> It's a lot better than working. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Buttspot, for trying. Thanks. Thank you, Uncle Jimmy. I appreciate that. Yeah, work is crazy, man. I was like, I can't do 10 and a half hour shifts at a computer. I'm just, it's just not my thing anymore. Um, I needed, I needed to, I needed to be done with it because they scheduled me for every weekend this summer, every Saturday and Sunday. And I was like, I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not. Buttspot's so ridiculous. But shouted themselves out. Buttspot, you. <laughs> oh my god. So it was terrible. I literally got internal bleeding last summer. Like actually, <laughs> actually had internal bleeding last summer from the stress. I do like butts. Butts are great. <laughs> butts butt gets me. <laughs> yeah, that butt's awful. <laughs> okay, that one worked out really well, though. That was good. Oh my goodness, that was silly. Yeah, the link was there. They literally shouted themselves out as butt spot. <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for being here, though, you guys. We're... It's been a long stream. Longer than I thought I was going to stream for, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. The butts. Look at all those butts. Bring on the booties. I just don't want a booty emote. Like <laughs> the booty emote. <laughs> Whose is that? That's hilarious. 